shiny happy people welcome to kimba's crafts my name is kim and if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning welcome back guys love you we are here with another sneak peek from bella art diamonds if you are not familiar with bella art diamonds they're a fairly new company and on january 6th they're releasing 60 plus new images so you might have been seeing a lot of bella art sneak peeks coming through on youtube if you have not i highly recommend you put in the youtube search bella art diamond sneak peek and you can go ahead and cipher through all the different images that are being released um I am very excited. I have opened this box. I'm very excited about the image inside. I just want to say before we get moving, thank you to Nicole and Jamie, who is a military family and a small business. They're small business owners. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to showcase one of your images on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I will say that they also own another small business called Bella Art de Nicole which is their small accessories for diamond painting. And I do have a couple of them in this box that we'll go over as well. Um, I also want to say that obviously everything is going to be linked down below. If you have not seen... Um, or if you have not diamond painted a Bella Art Diamonds, I have done a square diamond painting by them. And if you are a square lover like me, I am very, very, very picky. And I'm kind of like a square snob. I will say that their squares and grid are phenomenal. It was a joy to work on. And I highly recommend you give their squares a try if that is something up your alley. Okay, so without any more talking... Well, I'm going to still be doing lots of talking, but without any more introductions and housekeeping things, let's move on. And here we have, they give me an, um, a little cheat sheet about what I have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I like the one of a kind Bella book tray, which I know is this. Okay. And they do give like some instructions on here in case. I am unfamiliar, which I am. So I had, I actually was like stalking, and this is prior to receiving this package, um, to see what these are all about because I am going to be working towards a tray tower and um, like tray tower system. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could use some of these on the tray tower system. But their brand um, icon is the butterfly. A lot of times you will see a butterfly uh, 3D printed on their products. So they love butterflies and that's why we got that sticker. Here is the Bella Art de Nicole logo up here and then the Bella Art diamonds. So we have both. Jamie and Nicole are the owners and I believe Jamie just recently retired from the army. So thank you for your service um, and sacrifice, both of you. So scan me. I'm not sure. I think that'll probably take you to one of the websites. But here are both of the webs websites listed. And they will be down below in the description box as well. So thank you for... Aha, I've already said this. Thank you for supporting our small military family owned businesses. Yes, I love that. Okay, so let's see how this works. I'm not really sure. Um, does it slide out? I'm going to I'm going to just finagle it because I have not worked with this. Okay, so it does slide out. It's really in there. So it's almost like I feel like Elizabeth Ward safe where if you drop it you're you're not losing your drills if you use this on a tray tower and I believe they actually have like what they call little bookcases to store these on and so you can put your drills and leave your drills in here and then you know um that's how you can empty it pour them out like that it's very cute very cute it's very sturdy like I said so I'm not sure if there's a one way to do this. So I'm going to just play. I don't think so. It looks like, it 
it does look like you need to get it on the track here. Yes. So you will see I don't know, I might have put it in upside down. I don't I don't think that there's an up or down. Maybe there is, but there is a small track on both sides and then there's grooves on the top and the bottom. And they just fit in and click in. Very cute and it looks like a little book. Love it. So this is, um, and I think that their tray style sits like this with the books and the book binding and you can put your labels here. So that is super cute. And then we have a Bella tool for multi-placing and single placing made easier. So I think that this is this one. And I've seen um, Nicole diamond painting with this and I always wanted to try it. Um, it's like a wheel and oh, it is pretty comfortable. Oh yeah. So it's like a wheel and you can put four different styles of placers in it and you can just spin it. So you could have like your multi placer here your single placer here, your straightener in one if you want. You can have multiple sizes of multi-placers and, you know, just spin it rather than flipping your pen back and forth. And then I know some people, they'll diamond paint with multiple pens. I do not, but yeah, this, this is a cute little gadget. So, and then again, here's your butterfly and it has a magnet, so you can put it on something to keep from losing it. And then we have a small grid tray. Oh, okay, I have seen these. So these are, these trays have grids in them. Yes, so I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see those grids. So it makes single placing much easier. When you shake out the drills, let me get some drills. These are my Christmas drills, so we got we can't lose them. <laughs> we, we st we're still working on that project. Let me get a light color that you'll be able to see here. Oh, look how cute. And then you can just pick them up. That is great. Oh yeah, I like that. So then uh, just tap the back. So here they are, right? And you just wanna get them down there, just tap the back and they'll fall down. And then it pours out like this into your container. Very cute. I love that. Yeah. Very cute. Let me just put these away. Um, and then a poor resin teddy bear and a book cover minder. Okay, let's look at this. So um, the resin teddy bear is a cover minder. big feet <laughs> does he sit up he does <laughs> he is cute very pretty and the magnet on the back you don't have to worry about that coming off with glue or anything it's inside his belly get in my belly um so you just have the back magnet it'll lay flush on your canvas which is also very nice And then we have a book cover minder with a magnet printed on the inside as well. So 
Again, the magnets on the inside, you can see, so this is flush. It'll lay flush on your canvas. You don't have to worry about losing this magnet. And then this just goes on top. And how cute is that? Super cute matches. So these are just a, just a few of the accessories that they offer over at Bella Art Day Nicole. Um, they have many different types of trays. Uh, I've opened some on my channel. So go ahead and head over there and check it out. But first, I want you to see this. Here is the sneak peek we're doing for today. This is the new branded box for Bella Art Diamonds. It's very sleek, very classy. It's all black with their logo in the front. And then their motto is enhancing your diamond painting experience. Love that. We have um, up here, everything your kit includes. And then all of the bonuses. Like why, why is this considered a high quality diamond painting company? Well, it's all right here. We go into the instructions step-by-step step on how to diamond paint. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful rainbow-like geometric kaleidoscope. Um, on the end cap here, we actually have a thumbnail of the diamond painting that I'm showing you today. And I absolutely love this. Um, it is giraffes. Yes, guys, I chose this one. This was like the first one that I chose. Um, they send a list out and you get to choose which ones that you enjoy or think you'll enjoy diamond painting. And it is licensed from Nicolese Art. I have been looking for a giraffe diamond painting and I couldn't find a licensed one. So when I saw this, my heart just skipped a beat. Also loving the size, 40 by 50 centimeters. That is a very reasonable, easy, I mean, I, I say on the smaller end scale of diamond paintings, especially with the releases that are coming out nowadays, it's 15.5. 75 inches by 19.69 inches so i love that if this is a square diamond painting and it possibly comes in rounds i'm not quite sure hold on let me go check that list hold on okay so yeah if i'm reading the skew list correctly this is offered in both rounds and squares i always opt for squares especially after doing the last diamond painting which was squares I I just, I loved their squares. So yeah, I wanted it in the squares. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I'm so excited. I, um, you know, I, I don't really do it now, but when I was getting, when I was um, doing um, the budget-friendly unboxings, I was always looking for a giraffe. But when I would go to research and see, if it was a stolen image, it always was. And so I was unable to actually get a licensed um, or a free image of a giraffe. So I, that's why I was so excited for this. Um, this is, this comes in all of, I believe the US shipped um, boxes. So if you're in the US, you get a Bella Essential tray love this tray it has a hot it's basically like your standard tray that you get but it has higher walls and i feel like the grid lines are, are spread out a little bit so they line up quite nice um so yeah this is this is a great tray here hold on i'm going to turn the light on because i had sun and the sun disappeared behind clouds hold on a second all right that is better i'm so excited Okay, so like I said earlier, this is a premium diamond painting company. So you get all the fancies, you get the soft back, you get the poked holes and the scalloped edges. So we get all of that. I'm just gonna put aside the drills for now and we're going to go ahead and look at this canvas. Everything inside I'm gonna put aside. 
rolling this back. I, it's not necessary, just like with every other like felt back or soft back canvas, um, it will lay flat pretty quickly. Uh, and before I actually throw this up here, let's just go over their basic toolkit. So like I said, you will get that essential Bella's essential tray. Um, so in the actual bag, you don't have a tray, but you do get a beautiful washi. How cute is this? I love that. A washi, you get jabby tweezers with a sheath. You get the basic pen with multiple multi-placers. There's one on the pen and then there's two more on the side here, brass tipped. You get a squishy for your pen for comfort. And then you get a caddy of wax with three blue pads inside. So they say the blue is the best. So that is your basic toolkit trip. And here is the image. <gasps> They're adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love them. I love them. I love giraffes. I think they're so cute. And this is a very good mix of some areas of um, confetti, but not, not a great deal of it. And then a decent amount of color blocking. And for me, with the squares, color blocking, that's where I get very picky about squares. And the last diamond painting I did for Bella Art, um, there was quite a bit of color blocking and it was not choppy at all. So that's what I love, absolutely loved about it. So this, I know this will come out absolutely gorgeous, but how beautiful are they? We got the little baby with the tiny baby horns. <laughs> And then we got the old mama. I mean, she might not be old, but she's got her little whiskers, her little beard here. And he's he doesn't have a beard yet because he's a baby. And look at her beautiful big eyes. And you can see she's got some eyelashes here. And again, because he's just a baby, he's not quite there yet. But I just adore these guys. They're so pretty. Real quick, let's take a tour of this canvas. I'll go over everything that's actually on and printed on the canvas. Up top, we have in the middle, we have their logo and their motto, enhancing your diamond painting experience. On the side here, they're asking you to hashtag Bella Art Diamonds to share your love for them on social media. And then on the side here, we actually have both of their websites. So they are separate entities. You do need to go to either one or the other for the diamond paintings and or the accessories. And I believe there's links on each website to the other, okay? On the sides here, we have their legend. So you do have a nice large printed legend on the side if you use a legend. On the left side, it is printed upright so the same way the image is printed, but if you are a turner of the canvas and you like to work upside down, which I know a lot of people do, they did print the one on the right side upside down so that when you spin your canvas around, you're actually looking at it right side up. So I hope that made sense, but here is what the legend looks like. And as you can see, they do one through eight, one through eight. So one is one, two is two, et cetera, et cetera. They show you the DMC codes and then they go into letters and then a lot of basic symbols. We've seen all of these symbols before, nothing crazy. Okay. Um, down at the bottom, we have all of our... Um, information on the actual canvas, the name of it, giraffes, licensed from Nicolese Art, and then the SKU number, the size of 40 by 50. I love this size. This size is perfect. Um, again, we have Bella Art Day Nicole. So this is where the, they say you can find your diamond painting accessories here. And then here's all their social medias. So go ahead and find them on there. 
I'm going to take you up to look at the drill field and you can see it's extremely clear. Okay, I love that. Very clear. And like I said, it's kind of a mix. So um, in the spots, we have some confetti, right? But then if you go around it, there's a lot of color blocky or line blocky areas. And then down here below, this whole area is color blocked, right? And up top, we have some, tr some color transitions. So some mixing of colors. So I think that this is a good mix of both. You know, I think if you get burnt out on the color blocking, you can certainly find an area on the canvas where you're going to be changing out some colors if that's what you like. All right, I'm going to pop you off. I'm sorry about the glare, but with the sun hiding, um, I had to turn the light on. I'm going to pop you off and we'll do a quick pan over of this canvas and then we'll come back and look at the drills. See you in a second. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that pan over. Here's our color palette. Oh, no, we're not gonna look at that yet. We're gonna look at this. So we get a full sticker sheet, guys. A full sticker sheet. And this whole this whole paper is a sticker sheet. These are pre-cut stickers. You can cut this out if you just like to use the image. If you like the schematics and everything involved, you can put just throw this in your journal. Um, we have 42 colors in this diamond painting, and it looks like 1AB, 1AB, 938. So, of course, it's giraffes. We have a lot of browns, tans, beige, beiges, and yeah, some grays, it looks like, but. Here is the color palette. And let's take a look at these drills. All right. So I do like to go through every color. This is 310, our black. It's number one, and we have two whole bags of it. And I did see a lot of the number one down here concentrated, but with a nice dark black background and then these light tan and beiges and browns on the giraffe it's just going to make them pop out of this image that much more you know um so that's number one oh i missed it. oh here it is i was gonna say where's two and three two and three keep them in order two is 407 it's, looks like latte <laughs> 420, 451, 738, 779, 838, 839, 840, 841, 842, 844, 934, 939, 950, 951, 3021, 3031, 
30, 64, 33, 71, 37, 40, 37, 72, 37, 73, 37, 81, 37, 87, 37, 99, 38, 57, 38, 58, 38, 59, 38, 60, 38, 61, 38, 62, 38, 63, 38, 64. And then here's our AB. It's a brown. Wow. Look how pretty that is. It's 938 AB. And we'll certainly check to see where this is at. Before I pack these up, I just want to give you a show of how well these line up. Um, because I do love these diamonds. So we're going to go right into the black. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. I mean, not to say there's no trash in here. Of course there's going to be trash. But, like, I, I, I expect trash. You know, every company is going to have trash. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and get a light color. This has a lot of them in it. So we'll look at this one. Oh, we're not going to look at this one. It has some... Um, what is that stuff called? Static. <laughs> this one does not. We'll look at this one. You could tell because once you open the bag, like if they're sticking to the bag, run away. <laughs> look how beautifully they line up. So if they line up this beautifully in your tray, they certainly will line up this beautifully on your diamond painting, which I love. And then the grid is perfect. So, you know, it's just, it, it, it really, they work up nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this away and we'll look and see where this 938 goes. Brown AB, hmm. Um, and we'll talk about where we could potentially add more pizzazz if that's your thing. Um, I generally tend to keep diamond paintings the way they're charted, but I do I do like to look and see, hmm, maybe if if I decide, where would I put some extra bling, bling, blingity bling? So we'll look at that. Just give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, I also wanted to point out, as you can see, these are individually bagged. They're very well labeled. The bags are nice and thick. They're not the cheapy bags at all. So if you save your drills, these bags are probably very worth saving. Um, also, they are all resin drills, square and rounds, and these diamond paintings are hand rendered and hand charted uh, to keep as close to the original artwork as possible. So all of those things, I think, you know, we find very important as diamond painters. Um, so 938AB and on the diamond painting, it's, I, I like to call that like, sometimes I call it an eyeball and sometimes I call it Saturn. So let's look for Saturn here. Um, I'm going to pick it up and take a cl close look and see if I can find a couple. So I just know what I'm looking for. And you can see there's not a, like a, a ton of them, but sometimes these like very um, realistic because I feel like these, these giraffes are very realistic. They just look better, not totally blinged out. I agree with that. Um... So it's brown. It's not in the background. So is it in the giraffe somewhere? Um, what does it look like? Okay. 
Oh, here they are. Okay, so yeah, there's some here in, in this spot and in this spot. Um, is there any on her head? What about the baby? The baby. Okay, there's a couple here in this spot down here, over here, along his neck here. He's a little baby. Oh, around his nose. <laughs> um, up here in his antlers. Does she have any in hers? No, so he's a little, oh, she does. All around here, how could I miss that? All around there. Any on her neck? Um, I don't see them. If they're there, I'm missing them. But I don't see any on her neck. But yeah, all around her antler here on this side. Yeah, so that's where I see these brown ABs. Now, let's talk about where maybe, maybe you might want to add some ABs and the first thought that I have is their eyeballs. So maybe you want to put some in as the white part of their eyeballs, if they're even offered. So um, in her eyeball, it would be 951 and 543. And then in the baby's eyeball, it would be 951 and 453. So maybe there, maybe um, on the ear a little bit, like highlighting their ear where the sun would be capturing a little more. Uh, I And honestly, I wouldn't go crazy outside of that. Like I wouldn't do the background because you really do want the focal point to be these two beauties. Um, maybe her whiskers if you if you like that. Personally, I would not, but I could see that being enhanced or like the nose around the nose here being enhanced again, like where the sun would be like kind of on the giraffe. I could see like here it's already on their horns because the sun would be coming down. But yeah, I wouldn't do too much more than that personally. I mean, you could always go crazy, but that's just my opinion and where I would kind of focus, but they're adorable. I love them and they're definitely going to be on my list for 2024. Um, and that's all I have for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you. Thank you again, Jamie and Nicole, for this opportunity. I absolutely love it. They're adorable. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.